In this video, we're going to create our one-shot particles for when we start and stop the platform. We have a looping particle and we wanna see a different one spawn whenever we uh, hit the stop button. And we wanna see a different one spawn when we hit the start button. And we do want the designer to be able to choose right here, just like they've been doing before. Again, we're going a little overboard with the designer control, but I, I just wanna give you examples of all the ways you could use this potentially. The first thing we need to do is we need to declare the particle effects that we want to use and expose that to the designer. Easiest way to do this is just duplicate the one we have, or you could make a new one and, and you know find its variable type. I'm just gonna duplicate the movement. Call this start particle. Duplicate that again. So right click duplicate and stop particle. Once we have those, when we Turn on our looping one, which we're doing right here. We also want to trigger a one shot. Now in this case, I think it makes sense just to spawn a quick self-destructing particle in the level. We don't wanna, like, let's say in this case, we don't need to keep track of it. We just want to be able to say, at this location, spawn a burst effect, or at this location, spawn a smoke cloud. And we'll do it that way so you can see what that looks like. So all we really need to do is pull off of activate, Call a function called spawn emitter at location. And this will just spawn a particle effect in the world as long as you give it a type of particle system. So we have our particle system, our well, they call it a emitter template, which is just going to be our start particle or our stop particle. So I'm going to get my start particle for this one, drag it in. Now it needs to know where in the world do you want me to spawn that? So what is my XYZ world coordinates that you want this to spawn? And you could put some here, but you know it doesn't make sense because uh, we want it to be relative to this blueprint. So I'm just gonna get my particle system right here that I've been using before. I'm gonna drag off of that and type get world location. So I'm just getting the location of my particle system. Plug that in. Okay, auto destroy, yep, that's fine. Once it's done. And I think that should do it. Let's give that a test. Save. You'll notice that if you come back over here, these default to empty. So just make sure that your start particle uh, is here. And I'm, I'm gonna just be over the top and do an explosion. The important thing is that because this is a one shot, I don't want it to be a looping. I want it to be a burst type of effect. So make sure you get that kind of particle when you do this or make your own. So I choose this and start particle, hit play. And we see that burst effect and stop it. Right. And you could change this particle effect to be something more relative to your platforms if you like. But now that we've tested it, we can do something very similar to our stop particle. If we pull off of this, say again, spawn emitter at location. Pull that over here. We'll kind of line it up a little bit. And again, so we just need to get our stop particle. So get, get a reference to the one that the designer chose over here in the variables pull that in, into the template, pull off of our particle system that exists in the world. This is, we can just get any location we want, but this is, I think this makes sense. And type in get world location and pull that into location. Make sure you compile save. Now let's, let's look at this. What if in a scenario I have a particle that I like, so the steam lit right here. Let's say I kind of like the way that looks, but I, I don't want it to stay on. The best way to do that would be to duplicate the particle and to create another one that is more of a burst type and make that specific. But you know, just to show you that we can, what if we want to just turn that off through code? I just want to give you a little hacky shortcut here. Let's say if I really, really liked that particle effect, I could over here choose the steamlet like that, and then I could come over here, and then I could turn it off. Now, the thing to watch out for though, because I'm returning the um, particle effect right here, the thing to watch out for is if I wanted to delay and then turn this off, so this would be, um, if you get the return value, you're getting the, stop, the same stop particle over here, it's just to keep things simple. I wanna type deactivate, Let's see, it's kind of blocking that. 
um, deactivate. And this is going to turn the particle off right here, whichever one it's connected to. Now, if you do this, you need to watch out because what will happen is, yes, this, uh, these are kind of annoying sometimes. So if you double click on this, it'll make a new point right there that you can use to just visually keep things a little cleaner. Make sure you connect that too. And make sure your delay, um, you know, you could expose this if you want. I'm just really doing this to show you you can compile safe. You come over here and you hit play, watch what happens. And this is our steam that we put down here. If we stop this, you see how it's fading out? We could make that duration shorter if we want, but the downside of doing it this way is that every single other moving platform, we're sharing our, blue, our blueprints, right? So every other blueprint instance would have the same delay on their deactivate. You know, we can make this lower, but um, it could affect other things in the level. So I'm actually not going to do this, but I wanted to show you you can. And I think the best case scenario in this is just to create a particle effect that will do that. Um, I think it's beyond the scope of this tutorial since we're going to focus on the moving platform. But you could make your own or find your own particle effect for your stop effect. If we have a burst, um, I unfortunately don't have any other burst effects here that I could use. But if you did have a burst or you duplicate that, you could you see how it's just never going away. Um, you could make that go away just by using a um, self-destructing particle. So look into that if you want to know more. At this point, we actually have some feedback. It's We're just using the starter content, so the quality and the aesthetic is not great, but the hookups are there, so you could, so you could find other particles and sound effects to make this feel really good. And another thing I'm going to do is, before I leave this, I'm going to um, tidy things up a little bit. So I did this play audio deactivate. I'm just going to say play, leave a comment, so highlight and press C play particle deactivate and this top one's activate so highlight that play particle activate and then one last thing that has been bugging me for a while um, i don't want to do this in between videos over here where we're saying resume movement we're kind of treating this as a start movement and i want to simplify what we're suggesting this thing does because if we say start movement, that makes more sense. And if we say stop movement, um, that makes more sense to me. So instead of resume, I'm just going to relabel this. Start typing here, start movement. And it should propagate outwards. So anything else uh, that calls start movement. So let's double check, compile, save, check our level blueprints. We're calling start movement, stop movement. Okay, save that. Up here, forward movement. Okay, here's one instance where um, at the top, when we activate on start, we actually don't want forward movement, right? We want to start movement or, or stop movement. So I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna delete this one out. True, call this start movement. And one of our other platforms is actually activated on start. So we're gonna test that out real quick. Hit play. And we'll make sure that this one still works. Okay. So we have a lot of things working and I recommend that you experiment with what we have so far and try to customize it a little bit, try to lay them out and um, see what you can and can't do with your platforms up to now.